All right, guys and girls, I'm here back with uh, my initial kind of impressions video of the Samsung 34 inch ultra wide. I think it's a CF91. Again, pardon me if I didn't get the model number right. Uh, so far, I will say the monitor is cool. It is cool. But the biggest reason I'm doing this is because people want to see how this compared to the micro board. And I'm going to come flat out. There's some issues. I mean, one is a glaring problem that is just wrong with, I guess, the general public altogether, which I'll get on that at the very end. But uh, you may even be able to see it right now in the video. I'm not sure, but I'll tell you. I'll get to that thing because I don't want to go way off. But uh, biggest thing is this monitor is 100 hertz, 34 inch ultra wide. And that's about where it's going to be as far as uh, the monitor is concerned. You can't really overclock this past that. The highest I was able to get uh, overclocking this monitor was 103 hertz. Uh, and that was at uh, the, the 3440 by 1440. 103 hertz. Anything over that, it would... First of all, it wouldn't display sometimes, and then it'll be kind of jacked up. The screen be all kind of out of whack. So that kind of sucked. But, uh, and it can't do anything over that pretty much any resolution. Like, the what what was it where the micro board could do... Uh, where is it? Oh, right there. At 2560 by 1080, it could do 144 hertz, even though it did frame skips. Uh, but this can't do it anything past about 103, 104 hertz as well without it kind of just completely jacking up. So, and just because I did it for the micro board, I'll even show you here. I'll do it on here real quick. So if I go here and I do, oh, I'm gonna close it out. No, I wanna save that. Give it a second. Or did I not click it? It should. There we go. So custom resolution and create custom resolution. Like I'm gonna put it in at 106. Test. That's what happens. So no point. That was the highest it could pretty much. I mean, I just did 106, I knew it would do it. Like I said, it won't even do 105, which the, and I'll show you that because the microboard can do 105 without frame skipping like perfectly. And that's what you get. And I know this video is supposed to be about the Samsung uh, exclusively, and I was gonna do a video comparison, but I'm just gonna do this all together just because the overall, uh, experience I've had so far is very annoying. So, hold on. So <clears throat> let's do the uh, frame rate skip test and just see how that works. Where well, I just made it, there we go. So it is, uh, what the heck? Okay, let me do this with Chrome and not Edge. Oh, not even Firefox, what am I doing? No. Okay. Let it sync up. And I'm not sure what the reason is, but even this test takes longer to verify uh, on this monitor. Don't know why. I mean, there. Oh, try closing there. There's no other tabs open. But it just takes longer just to sync up. Like I'll sit here on the micro board. Doesn't do that. And there it is. But give it a sec. It should even out. There we go. So it just takes longer. Why? No idea. So. But let's do the frame rate skip. And it skips zero frames. So and this is at 100 hertz. I mean, so that that is good. Skips is none whatsoever. It's perfect. And from my understanding, it has no uh, light bleed at all. Now, when I took pictures with this uh, in a dark room with all the lights off, like 
even on the micro board, it shows some light bleed, but just looking at it head on, like I don't see it. Like I don't see it at all. So hold on, I'll actually kind of pull up a black screen and show you one sec. So this is the Samsung all black screen, very, very, very little light bleed. They say zero. I mean, you have to actually have to look for it. Crap. I apologize. I tried to edit that out because it started playing a movie when I clicked slideshow because I don't know how to pause it for the, the slideshow, but whatever, I'll just go back. But virtually no light bleed at all. You can see a little bit on camera, but when I look at the screen itself, I don't see it. Okay, I don't see it at all. So, and now when there's like, you see how it's put like the words in the middle of the screen. Now you kind of kind of shows up, but on all black screen, typically you don't see it. Okay. But, uh, and again, it's, it's up here watching movies on ultra wide is the bomb diggity. And this, but, and one other thing I want to mention about movies, man, the speakers on this thing, bonkers. Speakers are awesome. Blows the microphone out the water. These are full-blown speakers. You don't really need speakers with this excuse with this model. You don't need it. But uh overall, this monitor is cool. And again, it would be a great monitor. One minute, let me put the lights back on. Okay. So it would be a great monitor if it wasn't for this monitor right here. It would be a freaking phenomenal monitor. But compared to whatever, anything else, this monitor for the price, I'm a, I'm a price guy. Like, I don't buy what's hot because it's hot or the name says it's hot. I buy what's good for me, okay? And you know what? I, let me play Battlefield on here real quick. All right, so we got Battlefield loaded up. And I'm going to kind of do the same part I did when I did the micro board. Not sure it's gonna come through. You know, this is off angle shooting and off screen shooting or whatever. But uh, just to show you the kind of gameplay it is on here. But, you know, again, I mean, I had this monitor for about five hours now, six hours. No, what am I saying? Yeah, about six hours. And it's just, I'm just not impressed with it after having the microboard to get the colors right. Speakers on here, amazing. Oh, who just shot me? See, this thing is supposed to be like nuts. I mean, this looks the same as my, as the microboard. Like, I'm not, you know, and I, you would think, since I've played the micro, I've been playing with the microboard now for like, you know, weeks, uh, that if this was better, I would have noticed it like immediately, right? Nope. Nope. Not at all. All over the world. But, uh, you know what? We're going to load up something uh, a little bit more colorful than Battlefield. Just shooting. Time for that. Hmm. 
Where is Overwatch? I mean, just, it's blah. I mean, I'll get to my conclusions in a minute about it. But, man, it's, it's just not impressive. Like, for the extra money, you want, you want to see your dollars, you know, represented in your product. Just... I mean, I guess you can almost say the speakers are worth two hundred dollars. <laughs> Let me see. Let's just do a quick match. But I'll wait. I'll pause it, and when the uh, game starts up. All right. So we found a game. Sweet. So in here. I'm a Zarya main. I wonder if I can do anything with that color. It looks kind of blue out, but whatever. And this is, I play this huh, at least every other day on my mic board. When I saw this, I was like, uh, you know, it's cool. Like, right, I mean, this this is on my laptop. This is off the uh, 1070. But uh, running right at 100 hertz, I'm not sure you see the upper right corner. I'll try to zoom in for you before I quit out. But it's right around 100 hertz. So do I got V-Sync? I think I got it. Do I got it on? I V-Sync. is off. Attack commences in 30 seconds. Oh, well, thank you. Hello. Hello. Empty your mind. Focus. Hello. Fire zombie. Go. Again, the monitor is, is cool. Like, it's... But I think I may not be as enthused in this video or giving it the proper chance. And I'll tell you right now, the monitor has a flaw, like it's defective. It has like a line going straight down the middle of it. And I'm not sure if you can see it on... Uh, if you can see it, but I'll try to show you. Snap, pulse bomb. That's 
missed that. <laughs> but, uh... Here's the deal. Okay, final conclusion. The monitor is okay. And if this is what I have, if I never heard about the microboard, it'd be hot. Pros to the monitor. It does swivel. I mean, it doesn't swivel, but it does, you know, you can lower it and raise it. So that's cool. There's no height adjustment, though. And there's no swivel. Okay? So I guess that's an advantage. Now, the microboard can tilt up and down, but it can't lower like that. So, you know, that is whatever it, it, it may be. But I'm actually going to take it off. You know what? I'll see if I can show you guys the menu. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it on there. So let me see if you guys can see this. So I don't know. Some of these settings I didn't know. Let me see if I can... Uh, you should be able to cut did that focus on it. Not, not really. But it's on custom. And one thing people are saying about the uh, the game mode looks blown out. When you put this thing on game mode, man, I mean it looks terrible. And this is what Samsung thought would be the best. Is hold on, I'll show you. What was it under? Now, this is a cool thing. I didn't know what this was. You can set the HDMI ports for HDMI 2.0 or 1.4. I don't know why you would have to select that. I actually just assume that H... I just assume that uh, my camera only does 10 minutes at a time. Uh, I assume that HDMI 2.0 will be backwards compatible. If you plugged in, let's say, a 1.4 device, it would just do that. But I guess you have to select it. I'm not sure what... I mean, it may be a benefit to that. And it's, they could do the same thing with the uh, display port, 1.1 or 1.2. So, but where was the game mode? And obviously free sync, but I'm using NVIDIA, so I don't have free sync. What was that under where I saw the... Was it, it was, I thought it was in picture. What was that under? It was down here, wasn't it? Game mode, yeah. So watch what it does to the picture when I turn this on. I'm not sure if that's coming through to you, but that's kind of how the mic microboard looked out of the box. It was all washed out and blurry. Not blurry, but it's washed out. Like it, it amps everything up. So I'm not sure what that does to the response time. I'm pretty sure it drops it, but hey. But ugh. this is the issue here. Can you guys see that? There's a line going straight down the monitor. That was not there when I first cut it on. So it, as me doing my testing, uh, it just showed up. So I tried a different computer, different HDMI cable, different DisplayPort cable, everything you could think of. Just get rid of it. Unplugged it, let it sit for a while. Same deal. Okay, same deal. This monitor, again, is a good monitor until you compare it to this. Like, people, and the thing that pisses me off about this line, right? And I told y'all I'll bring this up later, is if this line would have been going through the micro board, people would have been saying, why do you buy the off-brand stuff? I told you that's what it is. Whatever the case may be, it's a piece of crap. You shouldn't have got it, right? There's going to be somebody somewhere who says, oh, that happens. It's a Samsung. You know, they're good. They'll replace it. Whatever the case may be, it's acceptable. You know, it's acceptable. It's like, it's okay. If this happens, just ship it out and replace it. And they'll buy another one. And no one will, will blink about it or bat an eye about it versus with the micro board, Something like that could kill the brand, could kill the model. Like, oh my God, like I knew it, this and that. But it's, dude, Vizios were a piece of crap at one point, okay? Some people will argue they, they still are, but whatever. Vizio ha is now a dominant player in TVs because people gave him a shot. Give give the, I mean, I don't, I'm, fl I'm frustrated because of this line, but man, it's just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like, th this is Samsung. 
this shouldn't happen with, you know, but I guess it happens with every piece of uh, consumer electronics that you have faulty units. But in short, I'm going to back up. I'm going to freehand the rest of this. Between these monitors, the microboard wins hand, hands down. Again, hands down. Now, I do like the fact that the stand is a lot taller on the uh, Samsung because if you look, I actually had to put an Xbox under it, which I had an Xbox for my TV like this one. But uh, I also have some paper under it, like some photo paper under it to stack it up even further because I wanted it higher than that. This kind of sits at a good angle, just period. But long story short, the microboard wins. No questions asked. Uh, this will be going back, even if it didn't have the line on it, whatever. I mean, this can barely do 103 hertz, you know, comfortably versus with this to 105. If you don't mind the frame skipping, go all the way up to like 160 hertz or whatever. Now, I will say this, I like to be honest. So I don't know, because I mean, obviously Samsung knows what they're doing. Now, they probably could do that. Who knows what overclocking your monitor does to the life of it? as far as how long it will last and longevity. So maybe they purposely left the controller out or not capable to do that to make the monitors last longer. Who knows? This thing might die in five years, which is going to last 10 years. Who knows? But that could be an issue. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just get the micro board, in my opinion. I mean, save yourself some money. I mean, even at $1,000, and I know the Asus is on sale right now, at the $3 price difference, I mean, that is a brand new video card. That is a new keyboard and mouse. That is, an, you know, a new keyboard and mouse, an SSD, a new motherboard. Like, that's money spilt, spent somewhere else in your rig, okay? So, but that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm still keeping a micro board. Again, that was my best purchase, you know, tech purchase probably in the last, uh, say, at least minimum two years. The best purchase I've made in the last two years as far as tech. So I even got the Oculus Rift uh, about a week ago. So, and this is, I love, the, I love the monitor better than that. So that's it. Scale one to 10, excuse me, one to 100, like to be more, more accurate. I would give the original Asus I had, I would give that a, say, 82. 82. I would give the Samsung a 70, and I give the microboard a 90. So, and you factor in price into that, the microboard is 95. So, again, microboard, best monitor you can buy, I would say around that price point. There's nothing between $500 and $1,000, nothing I would buy versus this monitor. You know, I'm not a professional gamer. People say they want color accuracy and all the rest of this BS. I don't know if it's color accurate. I just did it based on my preferences of what I like. So, if you look how washed out, and just cut off. But if you looked how washed out that is from the color I have it in game mode, like, just look at uh, Genji's cape, the red cape. Like, just, that's washed. That's, cape is red and glowing. And that's even with the lights. I'm going to kill the lights. See if it makes a difference. So, yeah. So that's with it in game mode. Like, super bright and washed out. Versus that's with me tweaking the micro board to my liking. So that's the micro board. I mean, that's that thing is sharp. It's it's awesome, awesome. And then here's the what's that? The Samsung. So that's just my thought, one man's thought on it. Hope it was helpful. And uh, you know, do what you want to do, regardless of my opinion, as long as it works for you. That's all that matters. Peace.